you all to give a hand to our guest author, Kate McMullen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a description of from Hades telling you what Odysseus is like. Odysseus wasn't tall, but he was muscle-bound and incredibly strong. Sometimes other mortals mistook him for a god, and boy, did he ever love that. He just jumped right in and sometimes wished he hadn't liked the time. He led his men deep into the Cyclops' cage. Cyclops chases them down to the ship, and they are rowing for all they're worth, and the Cyclops is yelling, and just as they're sailing away, Odysseus shouts. He can't help it. He has to take credit for this. Listen up, Polyphemus, you great big hairy lump of a bully. Hear me, you sheep stinking, cheese eating, knuckle dragging monster. It was I who blinded you. I, Odysseus. If only he hadn't done that, then Polyphemus would have had no way of knowing who had blinded him. And he couldn't have begged his father to wreak a horrible revenge on Odysseus. But Odysseus always had to take credit for his clever schemes. And this time was no exception. Does anybody know the painter Edward Hopper? He was a painter who, who painted a lot of New York. He was a hero of mine. And this book is all about the biography of this famous artist. And the story about Edward Hopper that I love is that he loved to draw when he was a little boy. He would go down to the river and sketch the boats. This is a famous mountain on the Hudson River called Hook Mountain. And as a boy, he did a wonderful painting of that. So here's something that I've always loved to do. And every year, I love to carve pumpkins. You know, every year you go, and somehow you go to a farm where they grow pumpkins. We do, and we pick out the biggest one. But, you know, there are even bigger ones. Wow. And look, they're so heavy, they have to bring them up on a lift cart. What can you do with an enormous pumpkin? Carve it into a boat and have a regatta race. Row, row, row your pumpkin. Can you imagine carving out a giant pumpkin and having a race with it? <laughs> Let's see. This is my favorite of all. Could the most colossal pumpkin fill the Grand Canyon? Who knows? Isn't it fun to imagine giant pumpkins everywhere you go? This is Vin Vogel. I'd like to introduce you. Thank you so much for coming today. Maddie's Fridge by Lois Grant and Vin Vogel. Here we go. Now we're going to meet Maddie. Sophia swung open the door of Maddie's Fridge. What have you got? Oh, we have milk, Maddie said. I'm saving it for Ryan. He's still little. Why doesn't your mom go to the store? Well, I don't have enough money, said Maddie. Well, what if you get hungry, asked Sophia. Sophia and Maddie raced to the stairs. Sophia slowed down so they could run together uh -huh. because that's what we did. Thank you. Book and amazing oh, illustration. Oh, so a big hand oh, for this. He's going to illustrate my next book. I don't have to do the work anymore. <laughs>